To understand cervical myelopathy, it is important to understand the anatomy of the cervical spine. The spine is composed of separate vertebra stacked on top of each other in alignment. The vertebra within the neck form the cervical portion of the spine, represented here in green. Each vertebra consists of a vertebral body in the front, spinous process and lamina in the back, plus two pedicles connecting the spinous process in the front to the lamina in the back. Altogether, these bony elements form a ring. When all vertebra are stacked in alignment, they compose what is commonly referred to as the spine, and the rings form a corridor known as the spinal canal. The spinal cord passes through the spinal canal. Cervical myelopathy occurs when the spinal cord is compressed within the spinal canal and begins to malfunction. Possible causes of cervical myelopathy include disc degeneration with disc bulge, disc herniation, joint arthritis, joint cysts, and malalignment and or instability of the spinal segments. Some symptoms associated with cervical myelopathy include abnormal sensations, pain, and weakness in the upper and or lower extremities. Frequently, people complain of incoordination or clumsiness in the upper extremities, balance problems or difficulty walking, and sometimes poor bladder and or bowel control. Your CU orthopedic specialist will perform a physical exam and look for specific signs consistent with cervical myelopathy. Your doctor will also order imaging studies to look for cord compression and the cause of cord compression. These imaging studies may include x-rays, MRI, and possibly a CT scan of your neck. Based on your history, physical exam and imaging studies, your doctor will recommend the most appropriate treatment. We can treat very mild cases non-operatively with physical therapy, occupational therapy, close monitoring, and non-narcotic oral pain medications. Moderate and severe cases of cervical myelopathy usually require surgical intervention focused on decompressing the spinal cord. This may require an anterior approach in the front, posterior approach in the back, or both. Fusion is often necessary, but not in all cases. Cervical myelopathy is treatable, and we have many options to successfully treat your unique case. Your doctor will help you decide what surgery is best for you.